This is Aarhus, Denmark's second largest city and home to one of the world's first energy producing wastewater treatment plants. It is common knowledge that we use water in a circular way, where water is abstracted, used, cleaned and returned to nature. But thinking of wastewater as a provider of resources and energy is a relatively new concept. Welcome to Marseillesbor Wastewater Treatment Plant, owned by Aarhus Van. This may look like a traditional treatment plant, but actually the plant is something quite out of the ordinary. Globally, the water sector accounts for 4% of the world's total energy consumption, and wastewater treatment accounts for a quarter of this. Yet only 20% of the world's wastewater is treated adequately. Marseille's Bohr is paving the way to change this for the better. Over the last 10 years, the plant has obtained an approximate 25% reduction in power consumption, and at the same time, the energy production has been increased. The result is that the plant now produces 50% more energy than it consumes. This means that the energy produced covers nearly 100% of the energy used by Aarhus Van across the entire water cycle, from drinking water production, to distribution, to collection, and treatment of the wastewater. But is it possible to both produce energy from wastewater and at the same time treat it adequately? At Marseille's it is. The wastewater from the treatment plant is discharged at such a high quality level that it's possible to swim in Aarhus's inner city harbour, not far away from the plant. So how does Marseille's save and produce energy? The use of bottom aeration in the wastewater process tanks provides energy savings of up to 50% compared to surface aeration. Sludge liquor treatment with an Anamox process allows for a more efficient wastewater treatment than traditional methods. Sensors and advanced control systems help to optimize efficiency throughout the entire process. Sludge from the treatment is pumped into these digestion towers where it is digested and partly converted to gas. The gas is then burned in gas engines, producing electricity and heat, with the surplus energy being delivered to the electricity and heating network and onto the citizens of Aarhus as a green energy source. You may wonder, how is this financially viable? Transforming a wastewater treatment plant into an energy producer does not necessarily require large investments in new infrastructure. Most of the installed technologies have a payback time of less than five years. Many Danish water utilities now produce their own energy and the Danish water sector's share of the country's total electricity consumption has fallen to just under 2% and the sector aims to be energy neutral by 2030. Let's move on to another type of resource recovery at Marseille's Ball. Phosphorus is a scarce resource and essential for all life on Earth. The recovery of phosphorus from wastewater is a key element in the preservation of global phosphate reserves. It is estimated that 20% of today's global phosphorus demand could be covered by wastewater recovery. When removing phosphorus from the wastewater, it ends up in the sludge. Traditionally in Denmark, the sludge has largely been used as fertilizer on agricultural land. However, the sludge also contains heavy metals, which can cause problems for the groundwater. In order to protect the groundwater and at the same time recover the phosphorus, Aarhus Van has developed a new plant where the phosphorus is recovered as struvite. Extracting the phosphorus from the sludge recycles phosphorus and nitrogen resources and ensures that heavy metals do not end up in the drinking water and thereby contributes to a sustainable and circular economic development. The phosphorus recovery plant at Mercedes Bohr has a capacity of 46 tonnes of pure phosphorus annually, equal to 371 tonnes of struvite. The many harbour baths of Denmark are a result of adequate wastewater collection and treatment. Here we are at Aarhus Harbour Bath. The recreational value here speaks for itself, don't you agree? Today you have seen how a wastewater treatment plant can save, produce and recover energy and scarce resources, such as phosphorus. There's a great potential in wastewater treatment, and imagine what can be done if the remaining 80% of global untreated wastewater was treated this way. It is estimated that if every treatment plant in Europe became energy producers, 
every coal-run power plant in Europe could be shut down, which would allow for unprecedented emission reductions. We will leave you here to enjoy the views over the harbour bath in Aarhus. Thank you for watching.